what gear do you use? This is like seriously the most asked question on the internet in terms of videography and photography. And it's pretty important. And I am going to shake up the whole world and say, you don't need any gear. All you need is your mobile phone. Roll sound, lights, camera, and action. I'm the action. Today we're going to break down what you can add to your mobile phone so that you have a little kit of extra things to make your videos really, really cool. Let's first quickly list everything that we're going to use. It's in the shelf. It's ready to come out. Let's put them down. We'll start with stability. Joby, little gorilla pod. With that, for your phone, you're going to need a little phone clamp like these. Mm, that focus remember for different phones you need different sized clamps for my phone we have a small clamp a gorilla pod okay, that's all you're gonna need for that next up on the list we'll go with lighting most of the time when you're filming something just for the experience of it all you're really gonna need is basic LED lighting to help back up when there's just not quite enough light on the subject for this, what we use is LED DIY kit. In a dark environment, it's perfect to just sort of brighten up the face. These two little wall mounts are basically just stuck on a piece of plastic with a piece of Velcro, which you can attach to your backpack and illuminate the whole field. Lights. Next category, we're going to look at sound. For sound on a mobile phone, I use two different devices. One is an external mic that points at things, like this one. This Rode video mic is perfect for external sound. One thing you have to be a little bit careful of with these mics, uh, not all video mics are uh, suited to work with mobile phones. You'll notice on the pin here that there's only three parts to this. Mobile phones require four. Have a look at your headphones and you'll notice that there's four. That's because it has a mic pickup as well. Not to worry, there is a quick solution for that. Always carry around one of these things if you've got a mic like this. This is a small converter that takes it from three pins to four pins. Put those together. A video mic like this, which is directional, pointing at things, is very good if you're going to be filming other people talking or ambient sounds from a distance. The alternative, let's drop that over there, is to use a lapel mic like the one I've got on right now, which is probably making a noise. Um, just plug that straight into your phone, keep it through your t-shirt, Here's me using it as I'm about to go do a video hike. All I took with me on this particular video was the phone and this mic, nothing else. And when it's windy, don't forget your little fluffy ball to put over your video mic. Woo! Next up, we're gonna look at extra things to just enhance the video to that like sort of next level. One of the things I keep on me is a uh, little clock like this. This uh, kitchen timer is perfect for doing time lapses that when you want to get that rotation in. So you just wind it up to say 15 minutes, a 90 degree turn, put it down, get your phone out, hit that time lapse, drop it on there and let it do its spin. Obviously when you're on the go, just keep some press stick or some sellotape just to hold down the camera as it's spinning. This is gonna tick through the rest of the video. 15 minutes, I can make a video in less than 15 minutes, off we go. Um, another awesome thing to take along is uh, a change of lenses for your camera. Now these come in a wide variety. You get really cheap ones, you get quite expensive ones. I definitely think you should pay a little bit more money if you're into changing your lenses. Um, with these little lens adapters for different phones. Um, you get clip-on ones. This one goes over the top of my phone. Um, this way I get a fisheye lens, a wide-angle lens, and an incredibly cool macro lens to turn my little iPhone into an incredible full-on production kit. Last but definitely not least is the uh, underwater housing for your phone. 
this little bad boy can go a couple of meters deep. It's all you need just to get those sort of action shots in the water of your feet under, under the water or um, just, you know, that underwater selfie that everybody likes to do. That, ladies and gentlemen, this little collective thing over here, which weighs about a kilogram, of which 90% of that kilogram is the Joby stand, uh, is all you need to make a full-on production video with a smartphone. You don't need more, you don't need to spend a lot of money. Start at this level, don't go overboard and spend a fortune on things. Get into it, get, get a feel for making videos. And if it's something you're like really interested in, then you know that you can start upgrading bit by bit by bit. Stay tuned to us so that I can help you upgrade over time, get better, my name is Dean Parman, you're watching Travel Vids and making videos with your smartphone is easier than you think. Peace out. Guys, literally all you need is that little setup, a mic and lights. Keep it simple.